Now we will set up the boundary conditions. In the Case Setup doc, click on Boundary. In the list of boundaries on the left side of the dialog box, click on Piston. Click on the Boundary Type drop-down menu and select Wall. Under Velocity Boundary Condition, click on the Wall Motion Type drop-down menu and select Translating. Click on the Surface Movement drop-down menu and select Moving. If you select Moving for the Surface Movement option, the surface triangles that make up the boundary will move. If you select Fixed, the surface triangles that make up the boundary will not move, but you can prescribe either translational motion, rotational motion, a combination of the two, or arbitrary motion to the cells adjacent to the boundary. Verify that Law of Wall is selected and check the Piston Motion radio button. When you choose Piston Motion, Converge will internally generate the piston position table for this boundary using the parameters you entered in the Engine Application dialog box. Note that the piston must be at the bottom dead center position in the surface file. Under Temperature Boundary Condition, verify that Law of Wall is selected and enter 450 Kelvin in the field below. Then enter 0 for both roughness parameters. You have now entered boundary conditions for the piston boundary. Next, we will set up boundary conditions for the other boundaries in a similar way. Click on the liner boundary. Use the boundary type drop-down menu to select wall. Under velocity boundary condition, click on wall motion type and select stationary. Verify that law of wall is selected. Under temperature boundary condition, verify that law of wall is selected and enter 450 Kelvin in the field below. Enter 0 for both roughness parameters. Next, click on the exhaust valve top boundary. Select Wall from the Boundary Type drop-down menu. Under Velocity Boundary Condition, click on the Wall Motion Type drop-down menu and select Translating. Then, click on the Surface Movement drop-down menu and choose Moving. Verify that Law of Wall is selected and that the User Specify radio button is checked. You will need to specify a valve lift profile in the field below, so check the Use File checkbox and click the Import Data from File button in the Profile Configuration dialog box. Select the exhaust lift.in file from the archive that you downloaded. Click Import to import the valve profile. Click the Show Plot button to view the valve lift profile and to verify that the data was imported correctly. Note that the valve lift profile is in meters. Close the valve lift profile plot and click Accept. Note that this valve lift data applies to all three parts of the exhaust valve. Under Temperature Boundary Condition, Verify that Law of Wall is selected and enter 525 Kelvin in the field below. Enter 0 for both roughness parameters. The boundary conditions are constant throughout the entire exhaust valve. Set these same boundary conditions for the exhaust valve angle and exhaust valve bottom. Next, click on the exhaust outflow boundary. Click on the boundary type drop down menu and select Outflow. Under Pressure Boundary Condition, verify that Specified Value is selected and enter a static pressure of 101,325 pascals. Alternatively, you can create a custom pressure profile by checking the Use File button to launch the Profile Configuration dialog box. In the Type drop-down menu, select Cyclic and in the period field, enter 720 degrees. The cyclic period is 720 degrees because this is a four-stroke engine. Then, click the plus button twice to add two data points. Click on one of those fields, enter zero in the crank column, and 101,325 pascals in the pressure column. 
click on the other field, enter 720 degrees in the crank column, and 101,325 pascals in the pressure column. The data range must match the length of the cycle. If not, Converge Studio will display an error message in the Case Setup Issues output pane. Note that adding two fields with the same pressure accomplishes the same thing as entering a static value without using the Profile Configuration dialog box. Finally, note that you must enter pressure with units of pascals. You can copy and paste pressure data directly into this dialog box from a spreadsheet of pressure values. Alternatively, you can import a file containing the pressure profile using the Import button. When you're finished, enter a profile name, and click Accept to close this dialog box. Under Velocity Boundary Condition, verify that zero normal gradient is selected and that specified value is selected for backflow. Under Temperature Backflow, enter 800 Kelvin. Under Species Backflow, click the plus button three times to add three species. Click on a field you just created and enter N2 for the species with a corresponding mass fraction of 0 0.71913. Then add the species CO2 with a mass fraction of 0 0.19235 and H2O with a mass fraction of 0 0.08852. Under Passive Backflow, click the plus button to add a new passive field. In the Passive Name column, enter Exhaust and enter a value of 1. For the Turbulent Kinetic Energy Backflow, verify that Intensity is selected and enter 0 0.02 in the field below. For Turbulent Dissipation Backflow, verify that Length Scale is selected and enter 0 0.003 meters in the field below. Next, click on the Intake Inflow Boundary. Click on the Boundary Type drop-down menu and select Inflow. Under Pressure Boundary Condition, verify that specified value is selected, the Total Pressure checkbox is checked, and enter a value of 101,325 pascals. Under Velocity Boundary Condition, Verify that zero normal gradient is selected. Under temperature boundary condition, verify that specified value is selected and enter 363 Kelvin in the field below. Under species boundary condition, verify that specified value is selected and click the plus air button. Converge Studio will automatically load O2 and N2 and their corresponding mass fractions into the Species Boundary Condition box below. Under Passive Boundary Condition, verify that specified value is selected and click the plus button to add a new passive field. Click the Passive Name field and enter Intake and enter 1 in the Value column. For the Turbulent Kinetic Energy Boundary Condition, verify that Intensity is selected and enter 0 0.01 in the field below. For the Turbulent Dissipation Boundary Condition, verify that Length Scale is selected and enter 0 0.005 meters in the field below. Note that if you have a boundary.in file, you can import this file rather than manually setting up the boundary conditions. To import a file, click on the Import Data From File button in the lower left corner of the Boundary dialog box. Select your desired boundary.in file and click Import. Converge Studio will display a notification because you have not yet created regions. Click Yes to All to automatically create regions that you can modify in the next step. Converge Studio will take the information in the boundary.in file and put it into the Boundary section of the Case Setup Dock. Click OK to close this dialog box. 
The following video will demonstrate setting up regions and using the compression ratio tool. 